welcome back to the channel it's been a while i think 10 days since i last uploaded a video on the channel during this week i had very many things that i was doing guys and that actually prevented me from uploading videos normally the way i was doing before as i talk right now i am back with uploading videos of course about poultry keeping if you have been one of the people that have been looking for channels that can teach you on how you can run a poultry farm successfully then i can assure you that you are in the right area but before do me a favor subscribe to the channel like the video and don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you'll never miss out in case i upload any new video on the channel thanks for doing that so over here you can see the grass this grass has been slashed i think not even more than two weeks back but as I speak right now, and as you can witness, the grass is really, really growing. We are in the rainy season, and the rain is very often nowadays, guys. And the grasses are really, really growing very, very fast. So, this is our compound, guys. And this is where we actually keep our birds, the local birds, on a free range system. And I think you guys can witness from some of the birds which are eating outside eating on the grass, let me first try to get closer. Others are sunbathing. Let me first try to zoom in before she gets up. So you can see guys, they are over there enjoying the nature, enjoying the greens, enjoying the grass. That is basically how our birds are currently feeding. We don't feed them 100% on the commercial feeds. We actually give them in other words, we supplement them with the feeds. We give them little feeds and then the rest, they will come outside and then look for the feeds themselves. As we all know, these are local chicken, which they are used to this kind of living in a local way, guys. And over here, we do have our chicks. Take a look at them. We have actually given them these trays for some reasons, guys. Let me first try to show you guys. You can see that we have given their feeds in what we call the egg trays. Yeah, this is where we have given them the feeds. And this is for some reasons, because the hen over there, they are used to scratching all the time. They scratch the ground the way they used to scratch like outside and look for the feeds. So they tend to also scratch the feeds and then the feeds will go outside, guys. But with this one over here, it will be very difficult very hard for them to scratch so that's why we have given them the trees guys and over here we do have new laying nests these are new laying nests and i brought them actually yesterday oh i can see an egg which was laid today guys this is an egg which was laid today i think now these ends know where they should lay eggs because I just brought these ones yesterday and I've not yet even set them up. And today they have laid an egg over there. So basically these are the six laying nest which we have put to actually add on the laying nest which we were having before. Let me first try to show you over here where we are keeping our eggs. Yeah guys, these are our eggs. These are eggs which we actually collected some days back. And over here, these are boiled eggs, guys. If you have been quite familiar on the channel, then you are well versed with the boiled egg over here. That is what we use actually when it comes to the synchronized method of hatching eggs, which we are currently doing on our poultry farm, guys. So over here is our builder section. You can hear them, guys. And down here we have other more chicks which are comfortably feeding guys. So over here guys, these are all intubating. These birds are all intubating. Take a look guys. They are all intubating. We currently have six hens which are currently intubating. You remember the egg which I showed you? I think it is one over here. Let me first try to pick one. We can see one hen over there. 
so this is one of the eggs that i showed you guys yeah this is a boiled egg which we actually used to actually make these ends to start sitting on their eggs on the same day so guys that's the method which we were using on our poultry farm because this method is way more better than the method which we have been using before for hatching these kinds of chick and then the other two this one and then that one over there started incubating three days after we had put the other four hens so we actually gave them the eggs and then they are sitting on the eggs meaning that these four hens will hatch on the same day and then after four days we will have these two ends hatching chicks. So over here we have 15 eggs in each of the laying nests. And if you count them very well, or if you add them very well, it will bring us at a total of 90 eggs. We will have, I think, more than 70 chicks from our birds over here. Because they will not all hatch, no? Others will not hatch. Someone out there may ask that, what now will you do with the eggs which are not hatched this is what we will do guys we will not throw these eggs away let me say that these four hens which we actually put to sit on the same day they hatch and then they hatch like 40 eggs what we will do is that we will pick the chicks which are hatched and then give them to three hens three hens to keep these chicks meanwhile the eggs which are not yet hatched we will pick them all together and then give them to one hen which is remaining because she will still sit on these eggs and thereafter the ones which can hatch they will hatch and the ones which cannot hatch they will just remain there we will add another 10 days for this hen to sit on the eggs because at some point maybe these hens never turn the eggs very well and then the egg maybe may still be in the process of making the chick so that way by us giving the other remaining eggs to one hen that one will also increase the rate at which these hens can also hatch so that's actually what we do with the eggs which are unhatched on our poultry farm guys and right over here guys you can see that we have one hen which is actually intubating at the corner this hen over here has eggs for the chicken and then eggs for guinea fowl so we have put them all together for her to hatch the guinea fowl eggs plus the chicken eggs and with this hen over here this hen that you are actually seeing guys she is sleeping or she is actually sitting on an egg which is a boiled egg guys yeah she is sitting on a boiled egg thinking that she is intubating her eggs i think there is no need for us to wait for other hens to actually start intubating and then we give her the eggs what i'm going to do is that i am going to pick the other eggs which i showed you earlier and then bring them to this hen over here because after these hens hatch they stay for a maximum of one month for them to start laying but as i speak right now there are three weeks most of them are three weeks or two weeks let us first go and then bring the eggs guys and then i'll show you really if that hen is sitting on a boiled egg so let's try to pick this one which was laid today and then try to i actually do label them guys i write on them each time they are laid i'll come over here and then count 15 eggs and then i take them there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 meaning that we will be left with two more eggs to stay inside this tray guys when placing these eggs make sure that the sharp pointed part faces downwards at this point this is where the air space is and this is where the air normally circulates and when you are to like turn it down here it will be very hard for the air to circulate eventually your eggs will not stay long they will get spoiled guys so make sure that you store them properly like this guys and over here let us try to pick our tray and then put these eggs inside and then take them to the other hen which is sitting on the boiled eggs guys 
This method is very good guys. Very very nice. You will get your birds hatching on the same day and then keeping these birds will be very easy guys. So here we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's take them over there and then give them to our beloved hen. Sit on them and then hatch them for us. One chicks on a poultry farm, guys. Okay, first try to pass through this narrow door of ours. So here we are guys, let us try to catch her and then put these eggs for her guys. So here she is. You can see guys, she is sitting on one boiled egg guy. Take a look. Only one egg guys. So what we will do is that we will put the egg here. And to let you know, I've sold most of my birds. Yeah, I've sold most of the birds for some reasons. First, is the breed of the birds or the quality of the birds that I brought initially when I was starting this poultry farm. Some of the birds were of poor quality. So I had to rip them off and then in a week's time, I want to bring more birds. You can take a look guys. This cock is okay. But over here, you can see that this end over here is not all that okay when it comes to its breed. So I am left with some hens to actually sort them out and then sell them off before bringing another bird, guys. I think there is also another hen. Let me first try to show you. There is another hen. I think she is over there. Let me first try to show you. I want to rip them off and then bring good ones, guys, on the poultry farm. I don't know how they call this kind of hen over here. With the neck without feathers, she's over there. These are the kind of birds that we want to actually sweep away from our poultry farm so that we can have good quality birds on our poultry farm. I think after one week, I'll stock good quality birds, good quality birds on our poultry farm. But before, I want to sell all of these ones which are not all that good when it comes to the quality of the birds as we all know local birds are local birds and then it's very hard for you to find local birds which are of the same quality like in my region over here there is no one or there is no farm whereby they are selling day old local birds no farm meaning that if you want to start keeping local birds then you will be gathering the birds from different homes and then bring them to your farm and that is what I actually did when I was starting this poultry farm. I went and then bought birds from different homes and then brought them into my poultry farm. Not knowing that other birds were of poor quality. But as I speak, I am selling them off. And then I want to bring the good quality birds, the best quality birds inside my poultry farm. What I want is that after one year, I want to start selling their old birds. Yeah. I'll be selling the old birds, the local birds to poultry farmers. And I don't want you to go through the same things that I've gone through. The poor quality birds which I've had before. And then right now I am being forced to sell them off. I'll be selling birds of good quality for you guys. So that when you take them to your poultry farm, you will be assured of the quality of the birds that you have on your poultry farm. And then second... With poor quality birds on your poultry farm, it will be very difficult for you to do the marketing. Yeah, marketing your birds alone will be very, very hard. At some point, you may have birds which are very short. They don't grow like very fat. They'll have that stunted growth. 
stuff like that. And it will be very hard for you to sell the birds. That's what we want to sweep away and then bring the good breeds into our poultry farm. That way you will also get the good breeds in your poultry farm too. Otherwise, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. And if you find the content that I'm sending to you always very beneficial to you guys, do me a favor as well, like the video. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll never miss out in case I upload any new video. Of course about poultry keeping. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.